Saturday night, Sunrise Ford 150 here at Orange Show Speedway may have well has been called the Ryan Partridge Invitational because the Rancho Cucamonga, California native and the driver of the number nine Sunrise Ford for Bob Brancati dominated this race tonight, leading over 100 laps en route to his first win of the K&N Pro Series West season and fifth of his career. Yeah, I think that was probably the most nerve-wracking uh, moment of the race was uh, when that six car got up into second place. Uh, Derek Thorne's a veteran. He's a very, uh, very refined driver. You know he's never going to show his stuff until the end. So when he got up into second place, I knew he knew it was time to go, and uh, that was our time to go to. So I was glad to be able to keep a healthy couple of car length lead at least, because uh, I know we're I know we're teammates, but when the white flag drops, we both want that win. So it was nice to to have enough gap and safety margin there. Uh, but it was, a, it was a fun race all race long. Um, our Sunrise Ford Fusion, Bob and Marine Brunkati owned uh, car. It, it really showed that the boys in the shop were working their butts off uh, trying to get this thing prepped because it was dominant tonight. His Sunrise Ford teammate Derek Thorne came home in second place, but is getting a little tired of having that bridesmaid label put on him race after race. Uh, we really struggled mid portion of the race. Car was uh, a lot tighter than we wanted it to be. It wasn't the same car as we had last night, but uh, it was good after restarts. Uh, 99 of the 16. Um, you know, got a little tight there. I gotta say, thanks to the 99, I got loose off of two one time and it could easily put me in a wall. So, uh, good hard racing, but a little rougher. I'd like to see it on my own behalf. So, apologies to those guys, but uh, that's our third, second, I think, so far out of four races. And, you know, it's, uh, I don't like being the bridesmaid this many times, but. You know, to, to have Partridge, the nine of the six, and the top two, give Bob Bucati a win. Sunrise Ford 150. Uh, as far as the team aspect goes, couldn't ask for a better night. Cole Rouse led the way for Bill McAnally Racing, tying his season best finish of third. Uh, yeah, I think we, we might have had something for the six of the nine. Uh, if I would have got by the 16 faster, I got by the 16 with like five laps to go, and I definitely wanted to, wasn't going to catch the 69. They were like half a straight away in front of me, but if I would have got in front of the 16 a little bit faster, I feel like we might have had something for them. We were better on the long run, not the short run. We struggled on restarts a little bit, it's a little tight. Um, but it's a third place finish. Uh, we'll go on to Memphis, and uh, we're going to go win there. Ryan Partridge looks to go back to back on June 9th at Colorado National Speedway. You can relive all the action at NASCAR.com.